In the first episode, we formed our brand new group Iron Man group, and we had an absolute ton of fun getting all the way to Elvarg and completing the Dragon Slayer quest. But this time around, we've got even more work to do as we continue to push through the early game and get into the mid game. In this episode, I want to complete the Underground Pass quest, which unlocks an absolutely insanely powerful early game weapon in the Iben Staff. Outside of getting the Iben Staff and the Underground Pass quest done, I also want to continue progressing the account as far as possible. And the best way to do that is to do as many quests as we can. So as a side goal, I also want to hit 100 quest points in this video. Because you all seemed to enjoy the death forfeit in the last episode where I had to do runespan all the way to level 50 and unlock fizzwax, this time around we've got another death forfeit on the entire group. The next person in the team to die is going to have to complete the broken home quest without a guide. I just had a group project moment. I forgot to bring a weapon to this quest so I just let Ozan just carry me. That is the stolen hearts quest complete. You know what, it actually wasn't that bad. It's still not my favorite quest, but we got her done. Take some agility XP, take some thieving XP. We got 27 constitution, not bad at all. In the last video, we used a bunch of lamps to get 17 farming so that we could start beehives. And this is why. Beehives are absolutely insane. Basically what you do is you buy some woad leaves from the gardener in Falador, you drop them in the beehives, and then every single hour, each of these beehives is gonna process one woad leaf and convert it into a honeycomb. And when that happens, you get a chunk of XP whenever you check on it. Because you can fill up each beehive with 27 woad leaves, you can actually leave this for 27 hours at a time. So basically every day we're gonna come in here and we're gonna get an absolute ton of farming experience. This is by far the best way to get through the early farming levels, so we'll We'll be here a lot, especially early on. 70 points is a good cash. Bang! Level 34, it's huge. I'm fine doing diamond in the rough, I think. I need to just lock in for like four hours and do some good questing. So I'm currently unlocking Menifos. First thing uh, I woke up to was getting flamed for there not being food in the storage, even though I put 200 trout in there before I went to bed, so. We need, we don't need trout. We need the, the tangled toad legs, you know? All right, I'm gonna lock in and do these dung beetles. <laughs> I know what it looks like. I helped pop with his yesterday. <laughs> no, I don't think there was one sparkling. I think I had to hit the wrong one first. Cause yeah, that's one. That's two. Dude, this quest is kind of nuts to be honest. Oh, it's here. Oh my God, there is a sound. What an insane thing to have to do. <laughs> Dude, the whirling dervish guy is so annoying. Oh, I said yes to handing over the diamond. Oops. My bad. He's only got one move. Bang. Hey, look, it's Prince Ali. That is Prince Ali Res- I mean, um, uh, this quest only one quest point, but still, progress. Up to 67. Dude, there's so much dialogue in this quest. Diamond in the Rough quest complete. Little Constitution Lamp. Little Combat XP Lamp as well that I'm gonna put on prayer. We are now 18 Thieving. Bro, Hassan just standing on top of the- Taking it all in? You know, we'll keep the cutscene. A bit of an iconic one. Can I go in? We're in! All right, I'm being escorted. Hey, look, it's Ozan. No way, spoilers. All right, that is Jack of Spades quest complete. One singular quest point from this one too, not the best, but I'll take 21 construction, nine dungeoneering, 19 thieving. Can I even do Ikthlarin's little helper? I'm looking to do Ikthlarin's little helper. Yep. So it's Willow Log, Bucket of Sap. Any thoughts on the best way to procure? There's a will log in group storage. And then- I put those in there yesterday. You're a legend? A bucket of sap. Just need a knife and you just go to teleport to Edgeville Lodestone, go to any one of the pine trees there and just use a knife on it with a bucket and you'll get the sap. That's unreal. Dude, this is the thing about group Iron Man. Getting a willow log in the past would be friggin' annoying. I'd have to do 11 wood cutting levels. Big, get to soften him. I'm assuming I've got the Metaphos Lodestone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, we got the Metaphos Lodestone. Big day. Oh my god, it's so far I can't even just click over there. Dude, you'd think they would make a bridge here instead of putting it over here for some It's It's fine. Do I need a cat? Wrong start point. We gotta talk to this person. Somewhere around the Agility Pyramid. Wait, that's the heart of Gilnor. No shot. All right, we got it. Dude, what is going on with my screen? This quest- Oh, 70! Brother. Okay, we're popping sure-footed. Wait, how do we not die? I'm an idiot! <laughs> this is the hitless run, ready? Bang, bang. Welcome to my hard crier man that isn't allowed to take damage. See that? Zero damage taken. We're actually sick. Ah, we got scarabs! No, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. Surely, bro, wait! I think sure-footed works, that was sick. Open the door of the western room. Bro, this thing on my screen is pissing me off a bit. What is this? I'm actually the goat. Holy. Oh! Brother! Help! 
Oh, we bowl. Actually, they made it weak to air spells. We're chilling. I actually really love this about the early game that um, monster specific weakness actually matters for once. Like I gained 20% damage just by switching my spell. All right, bye. Dude, that is the skinniest door ever. It looks like it's made of sand. I go back to the carpenter for a holy symbol. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, jump the pit. Go to the east, the east room. Uh-oh. Wait, Ikthorin got a new model. Talk to the high priest. And just like that, Ikthorin's little helper. Quest complete. Actually, a good chunk of XP for that. Holy, six thieving levels. Now we're Big. level 25. 13 levels just for that. Light work. I'm 25 yep. woodcutting. I'm 36 agility. One other really important minigame is Herbie Werby. It takes place on the island of Anacronia, so we're gonna have to board the Stormbreaker and complete the tutorial. Once we've completed the tutorial and explored Anacronia, we also need to set up our base camp, which is kind of a little bit like Clash of Clans, but in RuneScape. Whew, we're cooking! I actually love the hype music here. The sea is primordial, is crazy. Wait, you know what this has me hyped for? There's a new landmass coming at some point, and I'm kind of excited about that. Beautiful Anacronia. Look out. Dude, I'm not even gonna lie. This is a fire cutscene. This makes me wanna do big game hunter. Is that insane? Have I lost my mind? Uh oh, big Bertha. Help establish base camp. There we go. So it's the lodestone, which is clay and stone, but I need the town hall tier one. Okay, there we go. Town hall complete. Let's go. Let's go to Herbie Ruby. That's 37 agility. And then we're good to run to Herbie Werby. You can only do it once per week, and it's as simple as clicking on all of the green zygomites before they reach the center. You can get 100 points per week and an absolute ton of Herbler XP, and this is another must do on an Iron Man. It only takes a few minutes and it will save you hours of time. Look at us, I've, I've doubled my herb level in like a minute. They're having so much fun, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> oh, dude, I hate it when people have fun when playing RuneScape. It just pisses me off to no end. Okay, so Herbie Werby took about six minutes. And we went from level three to level 15 Herblore. And then weekly reset is this evening. And then we just get to run it again. I'm going to say pretty sick. We can also now do dig site because there was a herbal requirement for it, which I think was 10. Oh, it's one of the voiced ones. Let's go. I think I was dreading doing it just because the wiki said it was long to very long. This does feel like a weird spot for a bench. I'm not going to lie. It's like, yeah, let's just POV. You're sitting on the bench. Hey, look, it's Ikthorin's new model. Wait, Ikthorin's got a voice? Wait, that's so cool. So in the Western window, Climb through, oh, this thing. Okay, forgive me for assuming this was impassable. That's crazy. Wait, these guys are kind of, kind of chonky a bit. Another quest with really good music. I really like the Sliske's Endgame um, music though. Like that whole era and quest line has really, really good music. Bro, this cutscene's so funny because I'm so zoomed out. It's funny seeing it far at the high table. I love there's one for Brassica, Brassica Prime. There's one for Zaros. I don't know who's meant to be there. There's a spot for Saren back there, but she's doing batty stuff. Is there a different track for every room in this quest? That's unreal. Hey, look, it's death. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Enter the Ascension. Ooh, who do we side with? Zermark Sardoman. Okay, here's the thing. Sardoman is just the worst. Banos is dumb. Zami is evil. Ikthlorin is a dog. Sliske, the godless aren't even present. Surely we give it to the bird. I'm siding with the bird. Ow. Brother, I'm locked in. Oh, I gotta talk to McFlorin. That's it? Okay. That is missing presumed death complete. Honestly, nice little quest here. Think we will get some levels from this. I hope. At least one level would be quite nice. Yeah, 38 magic, not bad. Two quest points as well. Most importantly though, we also got the invitation box, which teleports us to here. Which is really nice, because you click it once, it takes you to the Empyrean Citadel. Click it again, and it'll bring you back to Brother Samuel. Bro, okay, I need this to not just loop forever. <laughs> this quest is just terrifying. RS guy hates true love. It's not true love. The moral of the story is that you can get a baddie, but only if you have enough drip. That's not true love. All right, once upon a time done, 73 quest points, and... Four cooking levels, not bad. All right, what's next on the list? Next quest is Tribal Totem. Okay, that's a totem. Okay, this is actually a ridiculously fast quest. There's no way this took me more than five minutes. Give it to the dude and then that's Tribal Totem quest complete. 74 quest points now. Get a couple little thieving levels, not bad at all. We're now doing Jungle Potion. Good stuff. I think this is an important one because it's required for like Taibuana Trio. Head to Southwest to some marshy jungle vines. Wait, isn't the thing where there's RNG if you get it or not? Oh yeah, it is. 
I remember this. Okay, I did it. Big day. Oh, cause for uh for Legends Quest and Zogre Flesh Eaters. Okay, yeah. I'll grab all three. Oh my god, character, please. <laughs> Dude, it's a good thing this Joker has the slowest attack rate in the universe. It's against the wall. Just grab it. I got it. Big day. I would have let it kill me too. I really would have. Jungle potion quest complete. Who horrible levels as well? And we can now go to May. I will happily take my quest point chop dice, claim all rewards. Sweet, it's still at tier one. Um, and I think at 100, maybe we get to tier two, but still it should be a fortunate component. And it is, and 250,000 GP, even more money. I'm spending all my money on runes. So it's actually very, very convenient. Recruitment drive and then dig site. So this quest is important because this is required for uh, in the future. It's like while Gothic sleeps. It's kind of the start of that whole quest line. After you talk to him, do not move at all. The puzzle is patience. Okay, so now we don't move. Big. All right, next challenge. Big day. Mischievers. I'm using the spade on the Bunsen burner. Okay, then I'm using it on the door. Pull on the spade. Big. Sir <laughs> Oh, it's suspicious. Got it. Dude, I... <laughs> there should be a pet option after the game, after the quest ends. Just walk it around with a with a fox in your hand? Why not? Pick the statue that was originally missing. Oh man. Oh god, I wasn't looking! I was reading the guide! I was literally not looking at all. Silver mace? Alright. I thought it was gold halberd. What? They all said silver mace! I think I was right! Wait, do I have to restart the whole thing? Okay, you stupid room. Okay, so it's silver. It's actually silver mace. The exact one. That's actually really funny. Hold. Just let me do a thing really quick. <laughs> Wait, it's that easy to do? Big. I think we've made it. There we go. Recruitment drive quest complete. Had to effectively do the whole quest twice, but it is what it is. Who horbler levels now up to level 19. That's crazy. All right, dig site time. There's a shop south of Kramja that sells like half of the items you need for a bunch of quests. I'm just going to go there first because I know you can get everything during the quest, but I think it's like slightly annoying to get everything during the quest. So it's like papyrus, five of those, charcoal, good. Dig site quest. I think this is my first time doing this since archaeology. Is the quest different? That's the dig site quest complete. Also, four herbal levels, eight mining levels. Not bad at all. We're now 630 total. Death Plateau Lost Tribe. And then we're doing all the plague quests. Read the survey. Oh, that's for like the weak point in the room. This quest always cracked me up because it's not like he's got a huge house to like really need the survey to find a weak point. And then when you go into his house, it's abundantly clear which wall is the weak point. Hmm, I wonder which wall is the weak point. I love that we don't even talk to him or anything. We're just like, yeah, I'm gonna be mining a uh, a cave into your house if that's cool with you. Dude, the map's got some flow. I feel like this has been like rejuvenated at some point. Wait, they all have the same face. Wait, they're all the same dude. Big day. All right, death plateau quest complete. I'm definitely gonna do one in Slayer, one in Hunter, because I know I need 10 in each of those. And I'll, I'll do the quiz to get me nine as well. And then Herblore. Amazing. And we actually get some levels. It's huge. All I need is a light source. A bullseye lantern can be obtained from a lore hound? Yeah, you just grab the lore hound, interact with them, and then you just take quest items, and it's one of the options. You can claim law runes from them every hour as well. And then lore hound is just in my pet interface, so I just hit call pet. Lantern, and, just and it's lit. Gives you a That's free lantern, unreal. good to go. So you go up to Mystag, and then we hit him with the goblin bow. Big day. That's the Lost Tribe quest complete. One quest point, 3,000 mining XP. It's also a really fun Heart Cryer Man quest, because it also gives you a singular... Ring of Life, which I guess I'll put it on. I may as well. I mean, we've got some pretty bad death forfeits, so you know what? We're going to keep that. Okay, so now we're actually into uh, the four plague quests. So Murder Mystery, and then it's Plague City, Biohazard, and Fighterita, which isn't really a plague quest, but it's sort of plague quest adjacent, I would say. All right, it's Murder Mystery time. Wait, I'm using a pot on a pot to imprint the pot. Crazy. There we go. Murder Mystery, quest complete. Three quest points coming in. Also, five crafting levels, not bad at all. And we are now on 83 quest points already. Actually, you know what we should do? I think we should do new foundations now before we get into the plague quest line. I'm gonna quest until I can't quest anymore. Uh-oh. Turns out it's easier to kill zombies when you have runes. Bill does not look anguished at all. He looks fine. 
If it's after the quest, that's a bit of an L. Should I do caches? Oh, I probably should. Level 37 divination coming in. Caches are still annoying though. All right, let's go back to the fort. I feel like we should have all as a group done this. I didn't realize that as soon as you start the quest, you can use this shop. The logs too for fletching, like actually good early game. 25 construction coming in. Okay, yeah, this fort quest is kind of insane. Also, 46 fishing from Legos is kind of nuts to be honest. Like I think Legos is gonna unlock the merchant like tomorrow possibly. Makes sense. All right, we have a gate, but do we have a rear gate? We're going to, we're going to. Why isn't there a hardcore group, Iron Man? Great question. I wish I had a good answer for you. I do not have an answer, but I do have an absolutely stunning rear gate. The final wall segment. We are absolute heroes for surviving this. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> 45 construction. Talk to Bill. That might be the longest quest in RuneScape. And it's literally just building the fort. One tiny little segment at a time. New foundations done. Big day, quest complete. We've got a fort and it's absolutely beautiful. Legos wants to be able to start training crafting because it's really important for a number of quests and we also need level 80 eventually to unlock the invention skill. And one of the easiest ways to train crafting is to mine uncommon gem rocks. They provide you a mix of sapphires, emeralds, rubies, and diamonds basically every single time you mine them. So the XP rates are really solid. The only problem is banking can be really annoying and there's an item called a gem bag that you can get from Dungeoneering that is gonna be able to store hundreds of gems at once. It's awesome, but the only problem is the base version costs 2000 Dungeoneering tokens. Our initial plan was to try to kill Cerberus in Elite Dungeon 4. Cerberus is a guaranteed mini boss spawn that drops anyone who kills it five 5,000 Dungeoneering tokens, so we'd be able to buy the gem bag instantly. But unfortunately, with our low tier gear and our terrible stats, we can't even land a hit on this boss, so it's absolutely not going to be feasible for us to get a kill here. So instead, we decided to gang up, head to Daemonheim, and do some actual Dungeoneering, which although controversial, I'm just going to say is one of the coolest skills in RuneScape. You have this massive dungeon that you have to explore every single time. You have different colored keys to unlock the doors, and different puzzles to complete along the way. As you climb up to higher and higher floors, they get more difficult, and you also get more experience. So why don't we get into Daemonheim and get to work? I haven't done Dungeoneering since I was legally a child. <laughs> Here's a question. Do Dungeoneering deaths count as deaths? No. <laughs> um, while we're in a C1, you should bind a weapon, by the way. Well, that, that's my biggest issue right now. I, I can't help with the dungeon because I don't right. have a ranged weapon. You don't have any? There's offhand knives. That's it. Oh, really? Oh, I have the main hand ones. <laughs> yeah, can I have those, please? I'm actually kind of hyped to Dungeoneer. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, this is sweet. And you know, this will be like some combat XP for us too. It's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, we are actually terrible in combat, so. I can't train yeah. Necro though, unlucky. Least harmful and meat shield. Big day. We don't have any gate uh, stones, yeah. oh no. Yep. How are you doing? Dungeoneering without gate stones is awesome. When I was like kid and Dungeoneering first came out, I didn't realize that you had to stand and block it from healing. And <laughs> I got so upset by the healing that I quit the game and I, I cried. You unlocked more features? We can um, 10 Dungeoneering. Is there anything good in the DG shop? Ooh, I got a magic level. Holy. All right, we're at the boss. Oh, it's the annoying one. We need the whole team. I'm coming. We need combat I'm style coverage. Oh, Get no. in, quickly. Wait, I have no food. I... No, I can heal you. I can heal you. Don't worry. Dungeoneering, oh, you can okay. use food on people. See that? You oh, see huge. that 500 heal? Bang. Yep, yep. that is huge. It's not a multi-hit anymore. Wait, we're actually cooking this fraud. With one combat style, we'd have a terrible time. Oh, I'm combusting, I'm combusting. Big walk. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of random levels doing this. This person drops wands and orbs, by the way. So this could be huge for the account. Omni power for drops, bang. I got a wand, or somebody what, got a wand. What tier? Uh, Tier 40, tier 40. Ooh, I will take yeah, that. Yeah. I'm level 39 magic. On the ground. Yeah, so up, I'm gonna buy that right now. And then as soon as I'm level 40, we're actually gaming. So if I were to try crafting, would I do it now? Uh, I don't think yeah. we farm enough money on these floors. I have 33K. Oh, yeah, wow. I'm gonna try it. No, because one of the mobs in the first room always drops like a bunch of money, like always drops like 20k. The other really cool thing about Dungeoneering is it's also a really good method of training crafting, because at the end of every floor, you have a bunch of GP left over, and you can spend it in the shop to get a bunch of hides that you can quickly craft into bodies before you leave. <laughs> I just gained so many crafting levels that it counted two as one. <laughs> Woo! Dungeoneering level. Big day. Oh, 101 so smithing door. Oh, uh, the frozen creature. That's for the necromancy storyline. Where? The frozen guy? You don't see the Where? frozen guy? Right in front no. of us. What? No, I don't. He's not there for me. Did I just get it? Okay, that's... Cool. It's the guy to unlock the Fremenic Sagas. Oh, yeah, it says you freed him from the prison. Nice. 
All right, I've sent him to the surface. Oh yeah, I, I got the chat message too. Maybe that counted for all of us. Maybe then. it counted for all of us. That'd be really cool if it did. Yeah, all right, that sorry. would be really sweet. 21, oh my 22. Gosh. Yeah, it's actually really, really fast. Wow, okay. All right, yeah, and wow, then we leave. Very fast. Yeah, I needed 35 crafting anyway, so it's kind of perfect. Wait, I can't hit this slime. My Slayer level's too low. <laughs> Wait, serious? What's oh no, my Slayer deck? level's too low as well. I, I oh got my... us, guys. I got us. What's your Slayer I'm level? 23. I did the wanted quest last night. Oh, 23. Oh okay, this guy's a juicer. That's insane. I'm only yeah, seven Slayer. I'm wanted level nine Slayer. Wanted honestly totally worth it. Okay, 48 room crafting, dropping it. All me, all me, it? all me. Wait, group Iron Man isn't even a real thing. We already had group Iron Man at home. It was just Dungeoneering. All right, it's imbued. It's repaired. It's charged. Holy crap, you're the only one with the levels for everything else. I ran out of thread, okay. <laughs> hey, I'm 700 total, let's go. Okay, so, and that's 25 yeah. crafting, big day. Do you think we need wait, two wait, for you... it? Wait, 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 coming, I'm coming. Uh, no, just uh, go, just go, just go, just go, just go, 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 go. Okay, going. Get there, no! No! Oh, you pulled it again, we're getting a hit again. Oh God, oh no, eat food. Okay, oh! <gasps> no, no, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can. If we're tick perfect, we can do it. Are you ready? All right. Yeah. I'm Three, ready. two, one, go. Let's let them cook. One, two, three. Hey. We ball. We don't nice. need yo man. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. We we don't need nothing. He's useless. Oh no. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I mean I'm, uh, <laughs> what I meant was. Oh my gosh! I got seventeen hundred XP. I did too. That's not bad. I'm level 23? I don't want to say fast, but it's faster than I thought it would be, actually. Oh, oh no. Woohoo! Without oh, dive? Oh, Alrighty. no. Alrighty. No! Get back in the. I. Please. Get in there. Big day. Yeah. Easy. Okay, okay wait, 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 wait. Easy. Pause, pause, pause. Are we on the back? Pause, pause. Hold. Easy. Alright, we got it. Let's we cut. go! We cut. Uh, Ooh, big we boy. got the blood chiller. I'm being chilled. I'm being chilled. Actually, he's being chilled even worse. Bang. Huge day. Big freaking day. 40 magic means I can actually start dealing damage. Oh, yeah, because of the tier 40 wand. No. Yeah, but also on the overworld, too. I can upgrade 10 tiers again, too, which is kind of sick. Oh, no, we just unlocked stomp, dude. Ooh, right. wait, oh, we're, no. in a new, uh, we're in a new zone. Okay, this is so our highest floor, so we prestige after this floor. Perfect. Ooh, 30 HP. Should be, yep, that's 35 crafting. Beautiful. You now have all the levels needed to complete the Haunted Mine and the Golem and Lost City. After delving into Daemonheim, I've got 35 crafting and I also ended up getting a level 40 magic and 36 engineering. So now Legos can get his gem bag and everybody's happy. Now let's get our daily Jack of Trades done, which I explained in the last video. And we're gonna get ourselves level 39 agility. This is quest start. All right, let's get it. Haunted Mine quest, let's get it. I'm actually stoked. Salve Amulet's gonna be big. Wait, can I get through it? Am I in the thing? Oh god. I don't know what happened. Oh no, oh no, sideways! <laughs> we ball, good work. Okay, so now I pick a glowing fungus and then I need to use it on a mine cart. Yes, specifically this mine cart. Okay, there we go. Hey, we made it. Good work team. Try to pick up the innocent looking key. Iconic quest. Level 63 is kind of, uh, oh yeah, we're fine. Actually fine. I am glad this isn't old school. Okay, keep it moving. Ooh, that kind of hurt though. Wait, the trains are trucking me! Oh god! Oh boy! <laughs> Wait, I take it back! Wait, I can't target him either! Oh god! Wait, this is really annoying. I think it's because of my combust. Yeah, my combust is glitching him. <laughs> Watch out! Oh my god, okay. So maybe I don't want to combust. Maybe I do though. I don't even know where he went. Okay, no more combust, no more combust. I think I, I'm breaking the fight and it's making it a lot worse. I'm actually gonna say combust good. I'm doing it again. Bleed out. See what it. All right, that is 41 magic. That was weirdly close. And I believe as soon as you cut this, you instantly get quest complete. I'm pretty sure. Bang. Two quest points, 22,000 strength XP is kind of nuts, by the way. 39, we're literally a melee build. And most importantly, we've actually got access to the Salve Amulet. It is not the enchanted one, but even the regular Salve Amulet is really, really sick. I'm gonna cut a bunch of these just in case anyone else in the group can use them. 15% damage and hit chance against undead. 
So that is our new like best in slot amulet for training. Really, really, really helpful. Good get. If there's any way to get this into group storage, because this would be huge for my group. I'm assuming no, unlucky. They've seen through it. <laughs> the J-Mods have thwarted us. All right, team, let's get into the Arty and Plague quest line. I actually really do like this quest series. It's very succinct. Like when you really get into it, it's like what, five or six quests gets you all the way to Prif? Don't mind me stealing the picture of your missing daughter off the bed. Dude, I can't believe I can't do this. I am a 39 strength. Alrighty, welcome to West Arty. All right, don't mind me going upstairs and chatting to your infant child. Add the chocolate dust to a bucket of milk. <gasps> no, I forgot the snape grass. <sighs> brutal, just brutal, man. We're not gonna hit 100 quest points at this rate. I would love to make an IRL hangover cure and see if it works. Hangover cure, big day. This is like Ryan's guide on how to make an eight minute quest a 16 minute quest, but <laughs> whatever, we had fun, didn't we? Did JM bring back any players? Nope, I am the only one, unfortunately. Hi, Elena. Figured I would find you here. I do feel like some of these quests were not really like rewarded handsomely. You know what I mean? Like we saved a kidnapped daughter and I just, I feel like our reward for that should be more than one quest point and a gas mask. That is Plague City quest complete. That is also 38 mining coming in. Not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Bro. Bro, they're letting me tamper with their stew? All right, let's go find a nurse. Okay, I'm allowed in because I'm a doctor. Oh yeah, this is where I kill one of them in cold blood, right? Absolutely boomed. There are so many mobs that have a magic weakness. It's kind of sick, actually. Use the key on the gate. I love the logic that like, this guy does not notice at all. Dude, they should put clues in inconvenient spots like this. They should put a clue spot up here where you need to kill the mourner each time to get the key. Make clues annoying again. Da Vinci and RuneScape? That's crazy. I've literally brought the plague into this guy's house. That's kind of rough. Kind of lucky that the plague is a hoax. All right, that is biohazard quest complete. Um, we can now go to West Arty, and we also know that the plague is a hoax. Pretty cool. I am now level 28 thieving, and most importantly, we've actually hit 90 quest points. Not bad at all. Dude, look at all of these Arty quests are all like directly related to having a set of armor of some kind that you borrow. Hold. Oh. Bro, that scorpion can walk through walls. That's crazy. Okay, so where's the good save? Is it this? I feel like it's this. Now, this is an absolutely vintage quest. Oh my God, he's so tall. Wait, I had no idea he gets this tall. Holy, that's actually wild. Look at him. Ryan meeting a normal sized person. That is the fight arena quest complete, which is gonna get me <laughs> 40 attack. Wait, our combat level is still magic based though. Very good. And we're also level 30 in thieving. Pretty cool. Nice little quest. The one other requirement for the underground pass quest that I don't have is level 25 ranged. But instead of actually training ranged, I'd much rather find a series of quests that will get me the experience I need. One quest that gives a ton of range experience is contact, and the only thing we need to be able to complete it is a strong light source, like a bullseye lantern. And although it takes level 49 fire making to light one, we can actually claim a pre-lit bullseye lantern from the lorehound pet that we unlocked when we reached 50 quest points. So why don't we do that, and then we get to it. I am a little nervous about the combat in this quest though, because there are a lot of dangerous enemies and a ton of traps along the way, and I'm definitely underleveled for it, but hopefully we're gonna be able to make it work. During the contact quest, we're gonna take a ton of damage from all three combat styles. And right now I only have one protection prayer being protect from magic. So why don't we also do one other monthly D&D, which is God Statues. It gives you construction XP and it also gives you either prayer or slayer experience, depending on what you choose. I'm gonna choose prayer and hopefully we'll get some levels to give me some extra protection. Let's see what kind of XP I'm getting from this. Okay, that got me 39. I don't know if that's gonna, that's gonna be what I need. That is 46 construction. Bang. Ooh, and I didn't even get a prayer level from that. Uh-oh. 43 prayer for protect from melee would have been ideal, but 40 will have to do. And now at least we've got protect from range, which I have a feeling is going to come in handy a little bit later. 47 construction. Not bad. Rounding out my second highest skill behind rude crafting, of course. I'm going to start Dimension of Disaster because it's literally a 45 second quest. I'm in the wrong tent. And just like that, <laughs> still the single... Fastest quest point in the game, complete. And now we're sitting on at 93. Good work team.
The one other thing I could use for the contact quest is a weapon upgrade, because I'm currently sitting on tier 30s and that might not be good enough for the boss fight. Even though I can access the champion's guild, which sells level 50 magic weapons, I don't have level 50 magic, so unfortunately, we're gonna have to look at tier 40s. And the one that stands out to me is we could upgrade a battle staff after completing the scorpion catcher quest into a mystic battle staff, which is exactly a level 40 weapon. It'd be absolutely perfect for me if we can get a battle staff. And although I initially thought that there was a battle staff seller in Varrock, unfortunately he only sells base battle staves and nobody has the crafting level to attach an orb to it at this point. So instead I cooked up a crazy plan, which is to engage the entire group and try to do some zero mechanic arch glacier. This is an end game boss, but it's also designed to be a tutorial boss. And because of that, you can actually turn off the mechanics. As you turn off the mechanics, the fight becomes easier and the boss's life points get decreased. And one other thing, this version of the boss also has safe deaths. So I called in the entire squad and we're gonna see if we can get the lucky drop of some water battle staves. If we can, I'm gonna be all set to go in with my tier 40 weapon. And if not, I'm gonna be stuck going in to do the contact quest with tier 30s, which could be really bad. 10 just in case for Aya. 10! <laughs> I'm combat! Toxic. 37! Put some respect on my name! <laughs> Alright team, let's go! Oh, oh god. Sorry, ready. Tell me this works. Wait, I don't know. I don't have protection prayers. That can be you don't need them, you don't need them. Oh no, god! We wait. might be here a while. Wait. No, no, wait. it's safe death, it's safe death, it's safe death. It's safe death, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I don't want to do broken home, so... No, no, it's the, these deaths do not count as deaths. Oh, Wait, okay, are they, okay. do they not? Oh, okay. No, they're okay. safe. They're they safe. Did. They're safe. All right, then I won't okay. tell you out if I might run out of food. Okay, okay. It's funny because the person that would like... carry this is Legos. He's got tier <laughs> 30 or 40 necromancy gear. Yeah, yeah. I is uh, dead. I would strategically die. <laughs> I wouldn't, like, intentionally die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how Legos is going to feel about us using his salmon for this. Oh! Wait, oh, you wait, teleported. Wait, that was dumb. That was dumb. That How was are you really going to get back? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was really dumb. You're going to have okay, to go wait, wait, wait. Uh, from the yeah, arc yeah, turtle. I can make... uh, how All are right. you on food, pup? I'm bowling, brother. I'm coming okay. back. I'm, I'm going to tactically die now. Never had a <laughs> wait. wait, 950 range XP? Not bad, not bad. I got, got like nothing. I got two water talismans. Water talismans. I got two crystal keys. We go again? Well, and like, and like, also like dragon stones, because I don't think we have any yet. So uh, it says it's recommended to have a combat level of one ten. Yeah, what's our combined combat <laughs> we level? We have that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like about one ten. <laughs> Badoodle, come on. Yes. Unlucky. You can't group kill them. Oh, what do we get? Like nothing. Like no. Rams. Okay. Well, we've done our five kills. Even though we were able to kill Arch Glacier, the kills were really slow, and I just felt bad wasting the team's time. We did five kills, we had some good laughs, even though people seemed to have been having fun, it just was not an efficient point to be doing this boss. We clearly didn't have the gear for it, and I didn't want to waste up to an hour to try to get this thing. So instead, I sucked it up and decided to discontinue on with the plan without my tier 40. But all hope wasn't lost, because we also got an elite clue from the Arch Glacier, and Legos is an absolute clue demon. He's done over 30,000 clue scrolls in his life, and he wanted to do this thing as soon as humanly possible. Okay, here we go. Come on, water battle staff. <gasps> yes! We got a penguin staff! No way! There's no way! You need 60 prayer to equip oh. it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you really? Well, yeah, I just tried. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. You don't! Oh, man. You That's worked rough. so hard for that. It was oh, perfect. Tragic. And unfortunately, even though he actually sniped a tier 40 staff, the exact thing that I needed from that clue scroll, you need level 60 prayer to equip it. I have no idea why that's the case. Nobody knew about it. And unfortunately, from the jaws of victory, we've been defeated and I can't use the staff. So with my tier 30s in hand, let's get the contact quest done. I need a light source. Well, whatever. Ooh, cutscene. Holy. I'm actually scared. Watch out for traps. Oh, Jesus. 75 ma- Bro, I am not ready for this quest. How much damage? How much damage? How much damage? Two. Okay, I can handle two. Oh, God. Okay. There's no way I'm geared out enough for this quest. Oh, God. No! Oh, God! Get out! Get out! Get out! Tactical retreat. This could be all-out pandemonium. Easy. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, no, we're fine. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, pre range. Maybe per range. Go, 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 go. Big day. I don't think praying range was better. Praying magic was way better. Run, run. My light source. Wait, they both burn out. 
Uh, dog, 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 no, 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 interact. Uh, take supplies, lantern. I have a lantern. Why is it dark? I have a lantern. Game, I have a lantern. I have a, I have a lantern. Easy, down, and surely it fixes? I'm like a thousand life points. This is messed up, man. He's gargantuan. Tell me it's kiteable. <gasps> Wait, Pog! He's stuck. Bro, I got no damage. <laughs> oh, God. What are these guys? Where did you come from? He's level 75. I can't kill him. Oh, my God. He's hitting like a bus. Okay, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Very down to the wire. Anti-poison again. And that is a successfully defeated giant scarab. Okay, and the minion despawns too. Okay, sick. I just leave Khalif here. Okay, cool. Let's go, dude. We did it. And that is the contact quest complete. Actually wild. Four thieving levels, level 34. Combat lamp. So first thing we're going to do here is ranged. That is going to get me exactly to 25 range. Which means when I click on this, it's going to say you have all the levels you need for underground pass. We actually planned this perfectly. This was beautiful. This was exactly what we needed. Easy game. Okay. Uh, last combat lamp. What do we put it in? I think I'll do magic. Yeah. I'll take 40 by magic, honestly. I don't mind. Are you going to the gnome shop because you're gnome height? No. Underground pass. Accept the quest. I mean, we're getting our Iben staff though out of this, which... Wait, it would be insane to actually wield an Iben staff for a period of time. Wait, this area has been changed. It looks a little different. Okay, now I have a bronze fire arrow. All right, let's see. My first arrow shot on the account. Oh, I'm lucky. <laughs> oh, we got it. Okay, nice. It doesn't really make sense why it's being held up in that way. You know, it feels very like... Wait, can I cross this again? Oh, my food's on the floor. Okay, that just kind of kind of sucks. My food and my dog and my homie are all on the other side of the bridge. Use a rope on the old spike with the tiny little hitbox. There's no way to RNG this, is there? Okay, if we go 0 for 5, surely we don't go 0 for 5. That'd be crazy. <laughs> 0 for 3. It's going to make the comeback even better, you know? Oh my god. Surge, you can't. You used to be able to. It got patched. Haha. I go. Then this one has to be safe. Right or straight? Hmm. Okay. All right. We play again. Straight or not straight? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this one, team. It's tough because straight just makes sense. What if it bends to the right? Damn it! All right. <laughs> All right. We're 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 just going <laughs> to... No comment. And the people on YouTube won't know that any of that happened. Okay, leave me alone, spider. It was literally a misclick. Surely it doesn't follow me the whole way. No way. Bro, this spider is a million IQ. Wait, so you're telling me I can just skip this? Oh, that's so convenient. Wait, so thieving actually not required for this quest. That's unreal. As long as you just do it like this. That's actually really cool. That's an actual runeskeep moment. Can y'all leave me alone? I got some orbs of light to cook up, all right? Odds these zombies drop like food. It's an air battle staff. I would cry. Okay. I'm scared I'm going to fail this, but I, I think it's too early for sure fitted. This doesn't really feel like I'm skipping anything. No! Okay, I lied. <laughs> Bro! Okay, hot take. When I was younger, I was a little traumatized by this because like, oh, unicorn, so cool. And then you crush with a boulder. It's like, oops, my bad. And then a little like older, I didn't really care. I was like, ah, oh, whatever, man. It's all good. Now, here's my current thoughts on this. I'm starting to get up there into the age where like my back is constantly sore. I am genuinely considering if this is what I need to fix my back. It could feel kind of nice. I'm just saying. Anyway, that's where I'm at with it now. Wait, I'm asking him for food and then I'm murdering him? I knew my RuneScape character was cool, but I didn't know he was that cool. You got any snacks? They don't even care at all about what I'm currently doing. They're like, you know what? It's chill. I actually didn't like him anyway. Your gift for kindly giving me all that food is that you get to die last after watching me murder your coworkers. So I'm looking for ahead to the central part of that by crossing the wooden bridges to pick up the witch's cat. The cat should be wandering on the bridges. There be the cat. Okay, so I think this is where I need sure-footed. This is the part that could be an absolute pain in the ass at 40 agility, but we'll see. Tell me sure-footed is just goaded. Okay, good start. I see the cat, big. Uh, so now I gotta kill these three demons. 
Oh, they are weak to magic. Oh, and they haven't had their HP rebalanced. Amazing. Thank you, Evolution of Combat. <laughs> 10 years later, EOC is still doing me a solid. But it's funny because a newer quest with level 80 mobs, you're dying in three hits. Like, they're just ridiculously powerful. Okay, so Shelob's dead. Oh, I might be dead. <laughs> Run! As we were saying. Okay, now we're kind of dripped up. Holy. Ooh, and it's magic armor too, actually. Nice. Surely I don't die. Did I win? Wait, did he die just like that? I think he did. And we got Ivan Staff, which is a tier 50, actually. That's pretty cool. So we can actually four tick auto attack with that. So as soon as I've got an Ivan Staff and my Mystics and 50 magic, we'll be able to cook. All right, let's find Cough Tick. I don't have the agility level to get the Lodestone. Oh, that's really lame. Next time. Well, I mean, we'll get it for Regicide. Uh, five quest points, 3k agility XP. Ivan Staff is going to be sick later, like especially because we're on a magic build. Unreal. And bang. A hundred quest points on the group Iron Man, and it's day two. We have just been questing up a storm. And now we've also got a quest point shop dice that we get to roll. I think the next one I get is tier two. So this should be 250,000 coins, which, you know what? It doubles my money. I'll take it. Black Full Helm T is not a fortunate component. Unlucky. Underground pass completed and 100 quest points on day two. I'm feeling absolutely awesome about that, but we also got a really important upgrade from the underground pass quest, which is the Iben Staff. And this is not a meme at all. The Iben Staff special attack recently got buffed and it hits like an absolute truck. I'm going to be able to deal thousands of damage with this thing, and it's a special attack weapon you'll see me use for many points during this series. It's absolutely insane. So we're going to train up to level 50 magic, put this thing on, and then we're going to see if for the very first time we can actually slap around some bosses. Ooh, can shield blood as a beam you know what i'm actually gonna loot that that's needed for potions later i'll take it that's level 50 magic absolutely nuts so that's a really important level because currently i am on tier 30 weapons you know what sucks a lot less than tier 30 weapons being able to equip my tier 50 ibid staff that is an absolutely iconic weapon okay ready bang 3.1k wish me luck oh god i messed up run oh god oh no oh no Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Was I not in the right spot? That's definitely the angle. There you go, got it. What? <gasps> what if I'm just like sneak a million? No, okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so I've got to kill this one Chaos Witch. That's step one. Wait, I think I should Ivan Blast. Blast, bang? 900 damage is insane, by the way. <laughs> Eight super attack potions. Very cool. Okay. If I can actually land a hit on the dog, we're in a good spot. If I can't, we're in a terrible spot. <sighs> so it's not good enough yet. Wait, does my Ivan Blast hit? My Ivan Blast hits a 600. So I'd have to Ivan Blast 240 times. Yeah, like half of my stuff is hitting and the other half is not. What if I just make a build bar and then all we do is Ivan... Look how much damage Ivan Blast is doing though. We've, t we've done 20k damage to him. Surely we finish it. Also, good news team, we are below half HP. <laughs> One final Ivan Blast. Shout out to the Ivan staff for absolutely carrying this. This singular boss fight took 30 minutes. <laughs> See you, idiot. Okay, I got a constitution level. I got some XP. I got a bunch of loop halves of keys. I'll take it. Most importantly though, 5,000 tokens is absolutely huge. And we're gonna go spend those right now. I'm glad we tried that. I do think at level 60, it'll go way, way better. We just need to get over that, like, that really, really low damage threshold. I kind of wanted the Arcane Pulse Necklace. Due to the fact that many other amulets are superior, it's worse than an Amulet of Magic? Okay, well, we're not buying this. That's what I was gonna buy. But you know what we'll do? I'm just gonna buy a gem bag. Because we absolutely will need a gem bag later. And we'll call that good enough for now. Maybe I should um, make an Amulet of Magic now that we know that it's better. That is a beautiful, apparently best in slot, Amulet of Magic. Awesome. Before we end the episode, there's one other thing that we want to try out as a group. One of the Iron Man journey achievements requires killing King Black Dragon at least once. So we're going to see if we can all join forces and get a kill at KBD. I'm a little worried about it because especially without an anti-fire, this boss can hit like 3000 damage, which is about how much HP a lot of the people in our group have. But that being said, we're going to give it a try and see what happens. But as a reminder, the next person to die is going to have to complete the broken home quest without a guide. So I'm really hoping it's not me. Let's see if we can get ourselves a kill. We're definitely really really under leveled for this but that's kind of the whole point of the series let's get it wait does he oh he might aggro me all the time why 
to the melee. I just voked. Walking no, vote does away. not work. Yeah, I got hit 2,500 twice. I tallied. I you tallied even with, even with I had anti I have anti fire active. I got hit 2,400. Oh yeah, it's, you can't really walk him because he keeps. Okay, so we just need to do it then. Okay. Oh no. I don't have anti fire. Yo, man, be careful. Do you want me to try to walk? It like it aggro's uh, off you. Uh, I'm time. eating. I'm. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, we have a broken home quester. Quester. Oh no. <laughs> Are we doing it? This is not working at all. No, nah, we're good. We're good. Are we we're doing good. it? Oh, we're doing it. Yeah, we're good. No, he's attacking a bit though. I don't know that we're gonna get this. But maybe well, we, we are trio at the moment. We're still in here. We've got it to half HP pop. Yeah, like now, like we're good. I guess Wait, we're doing it. We're walking. Wait, he's stuck. No, just keep spamming. It's like Ambi. It's like Ambi. Yeah, yeah. Wait, if you, you he's just, stuck. You can, either, you can spam or you can just click every like a bill afterwards. Is this considered bug abuse? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so big rain. This is insane that this Dude. works. This is what this is what happened with my uh, <laughs> with my Elvog. I mean, uh, this is absolutely not bug abuse. This is a feature. Seven K HP, but he is not the KBD can't attack us anymore at all. Yeah, yeah we we can wait. Yeah. Yeah, just get yeah, it to just like get it, low. get it to like 1k and then wait and then they can come in. <laughs> he's like so it. funny. He's just stepping on us. Bang? What do we got? Dude. Oh! Yo. Wait, hey. that's actually wild. That's cool that it's all the same tick. <laughs> I got well a dragon done. bone. Wait, I got arrows for uh, for yo man. I right, think doubt you can. one and done is probably the idea, but <gasps> No! Dude! <laughs> oh yeah, see you later guys. <laughs> Wait, we, we didn't re anti fire. <laughs> oh. Here's what everybody else in the group got up to on day two. Legos did even more quests and also hit 100 quest points. In addition to this, Legos really wants to focus on fishing and actually unlocked Menifo's fishing for the first time. Menifo's fish are absolutely awesome on Iron Man mode because their catch rate is extremely high and they heal enough life points to actually be useful in PVMing. So we're going to be using these for a lot of the series. Yeoman made it up to 75 quest points and also completed some difficult quests that no one else in the group is even close to, including one small favor, which gives a good chunk of herbal XP and also has some really critical unlocks for later on down the line. Bunny Bob has continued to quest up a storm and has also been working on necromancy upgrades, finishing off day two with tier 30 necromancy armor and weapons, which is really massive. Necromancy is a very self-contained skill in the sense that every 10 levels, you can also complete tasks to upgrade your armor and your weapons. So the same armor that you get at the very beginning upgrades all the way to tier 90. Getting up to tier 30 is awesome. And last but not least, we've got Pup. Pup got up to level 50 attack, completed some easy clues, got a singular master clue that he wasn't able to complete, and outside of that, he's continuing to focus on the early game quests. Thank you all so much for watching episode two of Locked In. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and to subscribe to the channel for more RuneScape content. And outside of that, if you have any comments or questions or feedback for me when making these videos, let me know in the comments down below. I read every single one.